Good morning. Today we'll about to work on expansion module for KT300, KT315. They pretty much the same module, same process. Um, before we do so, let's verify if everything is okay for us. In our system right now, we have side communication okay. We have controller okay. We have a KT315. We're using one door. If we go operation door, we have one door. And we can test our equipment in there. We have the exit button. If we press that, we can see the door. It, it's unlocked. And we can, since we're using an LED to simulate the lock, we saw the LED was on. If we open the door contact, we can we're going to have a door first open we see that in the event in here door first open and we also see the door in the graphic it's first open so we put the contact back so everything is working great now let's do a cleanup on the event desktop all right what we want to do in this quick presentation it's installing a a module that can be a pc4108 which is an input module the pc4108 we can see the model number here but those don't have the serial number of them. That doesn't mean they don't have a serial number. They do. But there is a way to find a serial number. Why right, we're going to do the process, installing them, programming them. and So this is 14108. We also have a newer model. A smaller one. This, this one in there. That's a... 4108 as well. KTPC 4108. So we have some resistor in case we need resistor. We have some. So let's take a look at that unit. All right. So this is a smaller model. It's called PC 4108A. This one is PC4108. So we have a newer model with smaller, but they're both doing the same. This is the same unit. Now we're going to use the smaller one to install it. Remember, door contact. There is a COM bus at the controller for cable. And we have the COM bus in here. So we're going to wire from the COM bus from the KT315 that we have right now, or that could be a KT300, same process. We're going to wire from that COM bus to here. Once we're done, then we're going to take care of the programming. All right. Okay. For safety, electronic part. So we're going to power down the controller. We can just remove the alimentation wire or remove the trans take care of that at the transformer level. We have a cable chart to help us to know. For example, in here we have auxiliary devices. Mm, the wire, it's a four conductor solid 22 gauge on shield so that's what we're going to use
Ok, comme boss, red, black, yellow, green, ready, going to the red, black, yellow, green. Here we go. Um, there will be a need to come up with the serial number. We have to put the wire at tamper and come. It will be a jumper. So we're going to make the jumper. The piece of cable from. All right, let's get that. Okay, so we have a jumper from temper and if everything is connected and communicating, we can confirm the serial number just by removing the jumper. If I remove one leg of the jumper in the screen, I see controller module. The value, the serial number is 17198. So these we can use, All right? We're going to use that. We can go directly at the controller, but let's do it differently. I can right click in here and go edit and go to the controller directly. Or I can go devices, controller, select one controller, the controller where we have it, come boss and here, that's a 4108. Okay. Define. And what was that? 17198. All right, please. We select that's a 8 input module. That's it. Now, how do we want to use that? We want to use that as controller input because we could also use them as elevator flow confirmation that's when we do elevator control okay so in that case we go input 9 to 16 remember kt300 got 8 input in that case this module also has 8 it will be 9 to 16 the, the 315 get 4 input but it will still come up as 9 to 16 so it will be 1 2 3 4 and then 9 up to 16. All right, so now input with E, define and with E. Now, if I go devices input, I have a lot of other input from 9 to 16. 9 to 16. All right. This is the process to define an input module. A quick review. Number one, we connect the module to the controller, connect it to the combos, combos wire here to the combos of the module. To do so, we verify which type of cable, what is the type of cable we can use. That should be a four conductor solid 22 gauge on shield cable that's what we're using if we do with the white cable we can go up to 600 meters or 2000 feet distance from these to the module or same thing if we install a door contact and request to exit and other component okay and Second thing we did, we installed a jumper from the temper to a comb on the module. What this temper is for, it's once everything is powered, just by removing the temper, we have an event coming in the software with the serial number of the module. Number three, 
we go to devices controller and we define the module same process for 300 315 you go to devices controller go to the controller tab kt300 or 315 come boss and then we define we select the module type in that, that situation is 4108 define that and that asks for the serial number that we already have in here so serial number added then we have to select what module configuration that we have and that, are we going to use that for as input on the controller or for elevator floor confirmation in case we're doing elevator control and okay and that's it next or last step i could say is to verify if those input come up yep we have a lot more input right now available thank you very much